Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Monday, which time, which means it's time for another Maduka Maguka fucking Magia Record Gaiden fucking, God, fucking stop it, Japan! I get it, your fucking language is emojis. Doesn't mean you can make shit fucking for 13 fucking words long, goddamn. Oh, jeez, so yeah. Welcome back to Maduka Maguka. Oh man, so in our last episode, which I'm glad you guys more or less liked, it's, thank you. Um, in our last episode, we were introduced to our Madok stand in, um, and she and her friend became magical girls for even dumber reasons than Madoka, than her friends as well, and they went to a city. Kami, Kami something or other, Kami Hana or something, to go and try and, like, be, be saved from being magical girls. And then they've met up with a, with a tiny baby Kubi. And they just kind of got told to fuck off by the magical girl that was already there, and she's basically just Sayaka in fucking Homura's role. So, oh, oh boy. Oh boy, big fun times there, but... Uh, let's just get just get right the fuck back in here and see and see how they go forward, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Like spin-offs are always weird for me, you know. Like it's, it's weird, like when you get spin-offs that are like this, like oh yeah, no, the main character's not here. It's like completely different thing. And also, I'm just wondering, like, why the. Why the fuck is this world so fascist? And I don't, and I... And I know it's not fascist, it's more authoritarian. It's authoritarian, like, in a massive way. It's, if it was fascist, it'd be, it'd be saying, like, Hey, this is the enemy. Murder them. But, fuck. You having a, a good time with your dead sister there, girl? Like... Oh, nay, son, am I gonna be okay? No, you're going to be you're going to be deleted from Magical Girl Wish. Oh, nay, son, I don't feel so good. All right, I'll cure her disease. Her disease was life, right? Don't worry, I got you, fam. It's almost as if you made a pact with the literal fucking devil! Ha! Oh, boy. I'm really, I'm re oh, God, I really want to know. I really want to know, like, what the context around this is. Like, if the wish was cure the disease, well, she didn't fucking do that, did she? Like, fucking, she just, she just got deleted. That's like saying that, like, oh, fucking, my kid's gonna be born with Down Syndrome. I wish it didn't have Down Syndrome. And then someone goes, don't worry, Chief, and they bring out Virgil's abortion gun from DMC Devil May Cry. Is that too dark? I think that's too dark. Whoops. God. God, it's been so long since I played that game, and still, Virgil's abortion gun. Jesus Christ. And by abortion gun, I mean it's just a regular gun that he uses to perform a long-range abortion. If you haven't seen that LP yet, you should, though. Oh, God. Puella Magi, Maguka Maduka side story. Oh, man.
So, so Kubi, like, performed the wish. So you performed the wish, but then you just deleted everyone's memory of everything. Really, Chief? Seems to me that, like, just Koopy just being fucking lazy, man. It would take a wish equivalent to a magical girl. Well, a magical girl was made, dog. Like, a magical girl was made. We're created fully formed after Kemi shoots us in the face. Oh, boy. And there's more witches! That just, that shit just, just, just happens, huh? There's like no real warning, it just pops off. Jeez, he just mannequin up, huh? Girl was just trying to go to the, take, take the bus. Well, what else do you think was going to make a labyrinth, girl? Shit. What else was going to make a labyrinth? Also, the labyrinth is in the back of a motorcycle. God damn it, of course it is. God, labyrinths just look so goddamn cool. Like, it's such, like, I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know what it is about it. I think it's the fact that like, everything looks so... It was all made of crafting materials and just, like, thrown together in Photoshop, you know? Like, it's... I don't know, it's really neat. Oh, no! It's another Ma Maguka! She about to fucking die! I feel like these Maguka are really bad at their jobs. Who this now? Who this now? Damn, just a girl out there with a buster sword. Momoko? Oh, that is one letter off for being unfortunate. There's so many goddamn Maguka in here, man. Shit. Like... In the original show, there was four. No, sorry. In the original show, there was five. Now it's like, hey, yeah, no, like... We're up to six now. Is this just, is this just, is this just marketing for the uh, for the for the? Oh hey, it's another Cade. Cool. Uh, is this just marketing for ma major records? It's like, hey, look at all these people you could pull from the gacha. Come on, you know you want Momoko. You know you want Cade. You know you want all these people. Who is coordinator? Who is coordinate? Like, did the magical girls make a... 
Did the Magical Girls start a union? Did the Magical Girls unionize with a goddamn dental plan? Dental plan! Madoka needs braces. No, they all died. They're lying to you. Don't let her get to you. She's a giant bitch. It's, and yeah, we keep, and we keep attracting more and more magical girls, so I don't know where all these witches are coming from. Ah, it's in English, that's how you know that it's, that it's important, huh? Okay, I was gonna say, like, they best not believe that shit, because that shit sounds goofy. Uh... And she just rolled up, hey, have a brandy. Have a scotch on the rocks. Forget, for some reason, Momoko has big mommy energy. Like, holy shit. Like, she has, she has gigantic mommy energy. The Chain Witch. What is, what is the, what is the Chain Witch? Hey man, the more people a witch kills, the stronger it gets, which means more power for your soul gem. So it's, I mean, hey. Oh man, these are the first magical girls I've seen that aren't just assholes. Wow, amazing. And they're doing exactly what uh, they're doing exactly what I said that the original people should have done. Instead of instead of Sakura being a giant shitter, and like Sayaka like being like, "No, let's work alone." It's like, nah. And magical girls just work should just work together as a big team. Use less magic and kill more witches. And there's no way the Japanese would would mess up their record keeping. Certainly, they've got what the f? What is with this universe? Like, why do they got robot Burger Man? What? 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 I'm confused. Why is she bullying her all of a sudden? That doesn't make sense. M M Momoko was the one who grabbed the. I'm confused. Wait, she could. She can do that? Explain! Explain! She can fucking shapeshift?
Not if you've shapeshifted. I mean, how are they gonna make you turn back? Like, come on now. Maguka must fight! <laughs> My city now! Like, uh, just, just throwing, just throwing massive shade over on Reyna, huh? Okay, so is this like an actual garden where like food is grown, or is this just some dumbass flower plot? Like, I mean it. Forget what I just said. Now, what is? What? What are the, what are those stickers saying? Are they putting subliminal messages in this shit again? God damn it! I'm going to be real with you. Cade and Reyna are no longer friends. Super Best Maguka is now breaking up. Three heads are better than one. I feel like these stickers are spying on them and changing their messages to match what is being said. Stop being my mom! You're not my real mom! This is the most dysfunctional group of Maguka I've ever seen, and I've seen some of... some of, uh... Akemi's timelines. Jesus. This is more dysfunctional than that time fr frigging uh, Akemi, sh Akemi shot mommy in the face. Friendship ending staircase. I'm sorry, what? This is the most arcane Japanese shit I've ever seen. You don't... I don't want to be your friend anymore, but I'm too polite to tell you. So I'm just going to passively aggressively write it on this highly... Tr on this highly traffic staircase so everyone can see it. Oh, boy. Oh, God. She's gonna... They're gonna write the name on the staircase, isn't she? Cade's gonna write the name on the staircase. I can't believe Reyna's fucking dead. I can't believe Reyna's dead. I 
I mean, you're hunt you're hunting down a shapeshifter, man. Like, oh man, that's totally not a Maguka right there. That's not a Maguka design at all. You have to take the charm off of your backpack, idiot. Sissy, like, hunting down a shapeshifter would be goddamn impossible. Why it's the best power? Like, Sissy, like, it, being a shapeshifter is the ultimate power because you can literally just n hide and never be seen. So, how's our soul gem looking like? Because this looks like something... This seems like something that would cause a lot of sadness, I'm just saying. I'm waiting for her to lose it. I'm waiting for Reyna to lose it. Like, one of these girls has got to become a witch, right? You can't have Madoka Maguka without it. Come on now. For a second there, I misread that as make out with you. And I'm like, all right, if that's where we're going with this show, okay then. Now, I've lost it. Nah, it's just a normal witch, isn't it? Just a normal witch. What's going on with this? Oh no, is, is- is she being attacked by a witch or is she turning into a witch? Is she a witch now? Oh my god, okay, is she a witch now or did she get attacked by a witch? Which one? Which one's witch? It's proof of the end of a friendship. I mean, I'm assuming that's probably the chain witch, but how fucking cool would it be though? I'm assuming... That's the chain witch, right? That's because like, oh man, because it's it's got chains and it's a witch, but it can only be but if it's only being seen by one of them. Because can Maguka can Maguka just see like just see witches and all that? Is not that their whole thing? So like, I don't know if that makes sense if only one of them can see it, you know. But if one of them is turning into the witch, then that makes sense, because it's in her head as, as she's being corrupted by the, by the whole de despair shit. Man, that's a really tall elevator, goddamn. God. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I think I like the original Madoka better so far. But I think it's mostly because when I was watching that, I didn't know what the deal was. And, and like, this is one of those shows where it's like, part of the, part, part of the whole thing is like, you have, is, is, the, is the sudden snap when mommy's head pops off, you know what I mean? Oh my! Please watch again. Well, if you're gonna show me stuff like that, well, hey. I mean, if, uh, keep showing me shit like that, you know, maybe a little something something.
Oh, God. God. I, I find it funny that they do shit like this, and just so many more, so many of, like, the biggest anime reviewers are just goddamn prudes now, but they're only prudes when it benefits them. Fucking calling you out, Mother's Basement, you fucking cuck. Oh, God, I had to unfollow that guy on Twitter. Holy shit. Like, oh my god, like, actually cuck. Holy shit. Like, not like, no, this isn't me being pejorative. This is a thing. Fuck me. Um. Okay, so, as far as, as far as Madoka goes, though. Okay, yeah, so, I think, I, I, so I still think I like the original, the original Madoka more, just because, like, at the start of it, it was like, oh man, this is kind of, this is kind of goofy. Ha ha, it's magical girls, you got the Maguka and the Maduka, ha ha. And then, like, what was it, episode two, episode three? Friggin' mommy just gets her head pulled off like a Barbie doll. Like, and there's, like, that sudden moment of, like, oh, fuck! And just kind of progresses from there and snowballs into freaking being Makuka is suffering. But here, it's, like, they can't really do that, so the Makuka suffering has to just start from the get-go, basically. And I don't know, I don't know. Like, this isn't bad. Don't get me fucked, don't... Don't get it twisted, god damn it. Like, this is... I, I like this. This is objectively good. Objectively good. But, like, I feel like, uh... Madoka the First had... Had a little bit better... Like, better uh, first two episodes than this. Not saying that this is bad. Just that Madoka just knocked it out of the fucking park. In fact, they knocked it out of the park, it landed in the next park over, bounced, and went out of that one too. This one only got one park under its belt. Like, like this, this is really, really good. Um, I will say that it does feel a little bit like they are um, trying to just... I, 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 don't I haven't played the game, so I don't know if this is true, but... It, it, with, it, with the amount of Maguka that they're just, like, throwing in as quickly as possible, you had, uh, you've got Iroha, you have, um, what's her name? Shit, my brain's not working. What's her name? What's her name? Uh, Kumoe. Kumoe. you got Iroha, Kumoe, uh, Mom Momoko, uh, Reina, um, uh, Cade. Um, that blue-haired one, like, like, you got, you, 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 they just jammed six, six Maguka in, like, in the space of two episodes, and as a result, like, there's that other Maguka that we haven't seen at all, you know, Kumoe, or whatever her name is, like, she just completely just fell off the face of the earth, and then the blue one's not around, like, I really hope that okay. So like my my fear of this because this is based off a gacha game. When I heard this was based off a gacha game, I I got nervous for this specific reason. Um, the strength of Madoka is because our main cast is relatively small. So like we have Madoka, we've got Mami, we've got Sayaka, we've got uh, Sakura or Kyoko. People get people get weirded out when I call her Sakura, which is weird. Um, you have a Kemi. Like, you've got five Maguka there, but one of them dies, leaving us with four. And it, it stays more or less centered around a Kemi and Madoka with, Sayaka, with, with Sayaka's arc playing as the overarching background and Sakura's arc being... Not completed, but close enough to complete that it only takes one event for her to complete it, and it's basically laid out, you know? So it's like... It, it, it's, it's, it's manageable there, because, like, Sayaka exists is like, hey, here's how Magical Girl arcs work. Starts off hopeful, reality hits, reality hi keeps hitting, and the hits start coming and they don't stop coming. Back to the roads and we hit the ground running. Now you're sad. And now you've lost it. Right? And, th and that's the big... And then, and then Sakura is kind of similar to that. Like, she, she started out hopeful. Hits keep coming. Hit the ground running. 
didn't hit, didn't get to, didn't hit despair level yet. Instead, she just became a greedy bitch and just kind of stagnated until everyone came along. And then when Sayaka loses it, she then learns you know learns a lesson and be you know becomes a good person. Uh, she wasn't she wasn't a bad person. You know what I mean? And she sacrifices herself so that Sayaka, you know, can you know pass on without killing everyone as a witch, right? And then. And, and then while this is all going on, you've got Akemi and Madoka doing their thing and having their main protagonist arcs, right? That, that's, and, and that works, and that's fine for, for Madoka, because, and that, because that gives us a man, a, an overarching st story threads that work together and work in tandem, and one influences the next, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Like, so that works, that makes sense, and because our, our, our main group is so small and so intimate, it's it's fine, right? But here it's like we're only two episodes in, and we have six Maguka to work with. Like by this point in the original thing, we only had three of them. Actually, sorry, we had, we had two of them. One of them wasn't a Maguka yet, and and she got and she was fucking killed off. Uh, like Akemi was more of just a pseudo antagonist at this point. She didn't even really show up, so. I'm hoping they're not just going to keep jamming Maguka in here in order to, like, shill for their uh, gotcha game. That that would be a, that'd be a really big problem. Um, but from what... from Other than the fact that, like, the, the cast is ballooning so much, which is concerning, this is a very, very good... good episode. I, a good, a good show in general. I, I do really like it. Um, friggin', uh, the whole Yui thing is really... is, a, is interesting. It's a cool mystery. I want to know where it goes, but I don't want to pass... I'm not going to pass judgment on it until we actually get there, because it could just suck dick at the end. Um, it is kind of weird that Kubi not only wiped her memory and the universe's memory of Yui, but also wiped his own memory. That's kind of weird. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I like that. But then again, maybe it's something more than that. I don't know. I mean, her wish was to cure the disease, and she got erased from existence. That's weird. I don't, I, don't, I don't know about that one, Chief. That That's some weird shit. Um, it is kind of neat how, like, the second she steps foot in Kamihama, like, just not immediate witch. Nah, sorry, Chief. You, 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 you went over the freaking city border. Congrats. Now there's a witch attack. GG's. Like, how do people still live in Kamihama? Like... Like, does, does nobody just, like, wonder, it's like, why you can't leave or go anywhere without getting attacked by a witch? Like, how do regular people survive here? Like, holy shit. Um, it is, like, despite the fact there are so many of them, it is interesting to see, like, the, the new Maguka interact, and it seems like they do have a long-lasting, you know, friendship and, you know, arguments and shit like that. So that's cool, you know, like, they, like, they feel like friends, friends with problems. Um, and they even have, like, an overarching thing, like, oh, the Chain Witch! Uh, and that's just kind of neat. That's just kind of neat. And, they, and, they, and they, they've got neat power sets. Shape-shifting magical girl didn't really see coming, but all right. Um, uh, the, the friendship ending staircase is kind of a weird pull. So, like, is, is the staircase part of the witch's labyrinth, and anyone who writes names there is then, like, a potential target? And then if they, f and then if they go back to their friends, if they go back to their friends, the witch eats them? Is that the deal? Because that's really weirdly thought out for a witch, because most of them seem to be just little more than animals. That's kind of weird. <laughs> um, it would be kind of neat if uh, Reyna was becoming a witch. But I don't. I don't think that's what's. I don't think that's what's happening. I don't think she's at the level of despair yet. I mean, then again, who knows? Like some some Maguka seem to just pop at the at the smallest freaking at the smallest freaking inclination. So there you go. Like, oh boy. Um, I don't know. Like, it is. It is a little weird that. Uh, that Cade can't the Cade, the Cade can't see it. That's weird. Which makes me think it's all in Reyna's head, which would mean that Reyna is becoming a witch. But then that witch that we see a lot of chains going around there, but which which is 
assumedly the chain witch. I don't know. It's kind of weird that, like, a witch could do that and just be invisible to the people literally designed from the ground up to hunt them. That's weird. I don't know if I like that or not, but... But hey, that's... But then again, it's, it's, the, it's the hook for the next episode, so shit could very easily be like, okay, no, here's why. Here's the reason why that's a thing, dum-dum. That's, that's, that's the benefit of putting it at the end of an episode, I guess. So... Yeah, I think that's all I have to say, so let me know what you thought of this episode down there in the comments. Whether you liked it, you disliked it, or you want to bring up something that I left out, because, I mean, that's entirely possible. M Maguka is one of those shows that, honestly, it probably takes two watch-throughs to catch. So, like, once this is done, I'm probably just gonna just binge all the way through it. Maybe they'll, I'll do a staring at on the whole thing. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. It depends how I feel at the end, because these... These Nose watches have basically become 90% review in the first place, haven't they? Um, but, uh, yeah, let me know what you know. Let me know what you think. Uh, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends, hit that share button down below. As always, I am Nozvix. Uh, did I say right, like, comment, subscribe? Like, comment, subscribe. It is, it is kind of late for me right now. I'm very tired. <laughs> I like, comment, uh, subscribe if you want. You can always put me on Patreon, which is linked down in the description, uh, along with a, and there's also a link on my end card, which also has a nice big list of all the good boys and goyles and in betweens that help keep the channel alive and and fund my crippling Pepsi addiction. And and also in, and also in addition to just getting good good karma from keeping the channel alive and helping me get new equipment and making new videos and all that shit. You also get uh, access to a special patrons-only Discord channel on my Discord server, where you can recommend things to be Let's Played, live streamed, and Let's Watched. And honestly, and honestly, it's probably the, the easiest priority way to get to me, because the main Discord channel, like, is... goes pretty fast some of the times. So if you need me and I gotta scroll up, like, 20 fucking messages, I might not get to it. Um, but yeah, the, the, the patron chat, like, there's a lot less of you in there, so. And that's not saying there's not a lot of you, but, you know, you know, you know what I mean. There's, like, what, like, 40 of you? Um, yeah, and all, but also we have our patrons only movie night that we do. Um, that we do once a month. You, uh, usually at the end, like, the second week of any given month. And we basically, we get into our Discord voice channel. We hang out in our sync tube. And we... Hang out, watch some anime, watch a movie, maybe play some video games if anybody wants to. Just kind of hang out, have a good old, grand old time. Oh, and did I mention the recommendations thing? I don't think I did. But yeah, if you're a patron, you can, rec you can use the patron channel or, I guess, Patreon's direct messaging system to recommend things to be let's played, let's watch, or live streamed. And that's a, it's a, it's a good thing. It's a good time. Everybody, so yeah. I'm going to edit this and get it ready for tomorrow. <laughs> And I'll see you in the next video. Rose will evolve, become a trash mammal today, and I'll see you a round of rune.